Hello beauties, Mira here, and today I wanna to teach you how to use the color correcting stick. We have two that have come out in our line since the spring, and I've had lots of questions and lots of interest. So, let's play along. So I've got my full look on right now, and I did use some of the wipe red stick earlier in the day, but since I'm gonna be on camera tonight playing um, with my new Mary Kay stuff at my holiday unboxing party, I wanna make sure that I look perfect. So I'm gonna use the red specifically right here on my nose and I can see some areas right here on my forehead where some of my natural red is showing through. Now you wanna do this, you can do this on bare skin um, or you can do it if you've got, you have had your foundation on all day and you're updating your look for later on for going out or for a party, which hopefully we get to do all that stuff soon. Um, you're gonna want, you can add this for just a little extra photo readiness. And since we're, a lot of us are doing our get togethers on video chat or some kind of component, looking good is important. All right, so I'm gonna use my, actually I'm gonna use my spongy, the bottom part. I don't have a water spray bottle here, so I'm gonna use my reviving facial spray, which has got coconut water in it. And this is something wonderful that you can use if you have your makeup on all day and you just need to freshen it up a little bit without having to redo everything. So you see how I'm just gonna use the bottom to stipple it in. You can still see some of the green, but it's minimizing that red. I don't recommend doing this without foundation or some kind of powder just because there is a little residual green. I walked around for part of the day yesterday with some residual green because, you know, Richard can't tell me if I have something on my face that looks a little funny. And my kids, you know, they just think I'm a nut. So now I'm going to put on my foundation. Just going to stipple a little extra foundation over the top. And... And you can see my big, beautiful ring that I just got from Court of Sales matches my necklace that was Mary Kay prize from 2014. So you never know. Someday your prizes might all go together. Okay, and you can see how that really minimized that extra redness in my nose area and took down the redness near my scalp where I get red because of the sun stuff. Okay, so now let's do the purple one, which is Ditch Dullness, and I've had a lot of questions about this. This is basically gonna act like a highlighter. Oh, look at how pretty my eyeshadow is here. Need to blend that out a little bit. Um, I'm gonna use this right in this area, and I also like to use this on any areas where I've got a lot of freckling going on, particularly it is summertime right now, and this is gonna give me a little extra highlight. I like to do it, I've been digging it right here because that's gonna highlight my, uh, the top edge of my lip. And since I have not really small lips, but I have, a, I have a receding top lip. My grandma used to have this whole bit. She'd come over to my house, try on lipstick, and she'd be like, what? No, 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 no. I mean, I mean, that could go on for 20 minutes with her. She was cute. Okay, so you see how I've got that in there? It's gonna draw your eye right up here. It's gonna help to visually lift, which makes me look like I lost some weight without doing anything besides sitting here. So good. And that is one of those tricks that as you age, when you highlight those cheekbones, it will keep everything going because that part, this part of your face is never gonna sag, this whole bone structure in here. So that's why I talk about having good bone, right? Okay, so I've got this on. I'm just a little bit more elevated than even my dressed up party look. Uh, so thanks for watching. Have a great one, bye.